Welcome back. How have you guys been? This video is for everyone, and especially for those who are trying to evolve themselves this year. I'm going to give you guys 12 tips that will guarantee a glow up for you, not only for your fashion, but also for you. And if you do follow these tips, they will definitely bring you a different level of confidence. So let's get into the video. The first tip that we have is get out of your comfort zone. Glow up is a type of change and change never happens in comfort zone change is uncomfortable i agree if you really want to evolve yourself you have to get out of your comfort zone i do understand for the people who do not like change it might be hard but think about it this way that after 10 years if you do not take the step now of getting out of your comfort zone and leveling up after 10 years, when you're going to look back and you're going to see I have wasted 10 years staying the same, not even trying to challenge myself, not even updating myself, I have stayed the same and not done any good to myself. How are you going to feel? The second tip is probably the most important, which is get to know yourself. If you want to level up into a different version of yourself, you have to first of all know the present version of you. Know what you like, know what you don't like, know what suits you, know what doesn't suit you. Just get to know yourself, your style, what type of item that you can wear to instantly make you confident. Third tip is analyze your closet. Go there. Open your closet and look what you have. Get out the stuff from your closet that you do not like anymore, that you think are not your style anymore. Also get out the stuff that you think has potential and you can style it some way. Always, always have neutrals in your closet. Never throw out your neutrals. Because you can style them a lot of ways and I definitely, definitely support outfit repeating. Fourth tip is Find out what you need to change. If you feel like your style needs just an upgrade, if you feel like you need to completely change your fashion sense, or you know nothing about fashion actually, you have just been wearing casual, normal clothes, and you now want to start being a fashionista, which is completely fine, everyone has a start. Next tip is also very, very important. It is experiment and explore. Try out new styles, new aesthetics, new type of silhouettes, clothing pieces, new accessories. Explore everything. Just go online on Pinterest or something and see what clicks your interest. If you don't try new things, you will not understand what actually looks good on you or what you actually like. Next tip is invest in clothes that accentuate your features. If you're buying clothes, buy clothes that brings out the best in you. Surround yourself with clothes that brings out the best in you, just like you should do with people. Try out which silhouette looks the best on you, which color looks best on you, what type of size or fitting or the proportion for some mid waist look good for some high waisted pants or skirts looks good for some low waisted looks good for some crop top looks good for some tube top looks good for some long tops look good for some dresses look good what type of dresses looks good on you what silhouette of dress look better on you what length of dress looks the best on you find that out Next time you go shopping, buy clothes that you know will look good on you and you will wear again and again. Next tip, and I want to say this clear and loud, say bye bye to trends. Do not buy clothes just because it's trending. Buy clothes because you like it. See, trends change with seasons. Trends change every month. Something that is trending this month may not be trending the next month. So there is no use of investing in trends. I understand there are some trends that are actually really good and actually might click your interest. 
So that's what I mean when I say buy it because you like it, not because it's trending. Just because it's a trend doesn't mean it's something bad. Or just because it's a trend doesn't mean it's something good as well. Even if you're buying trends, try to buy those from, you know, small businesses or support them instead of only going fast fashion because fast fashion brands actually they change with trends so every time something is trending you go to the shop and you'll find out the trending piece is right there because they know customers will come to them to buy the trendy things because they know their customers right next tip is cut off the people that brings you down the thing is if someone is constantly putting you down, making you insecure, you will not be able to wear the clothes that you actually like and that you actually want to wear because you know there's someone out there constantly throwing those negative comments at you and you will feel down even if you feel like, okay, this is looking good on me, but there are people that are hitting you down. You do not deserve to be around negative people. Next is wear it scared. If you're scared to wear an outfit outside, wear it like that. Wear it scared. People are gonna judge you, it's, it's fine. I have a detailed video about it, go check it out. Fear is something that holds everyone back. We all have some type of fear in us. And it's okay, but it's also not okay. I know that fear is just an illusion, it's not true, it's not real. Next point is don't compare yourself to the people you see online or to the people that you see in real life. Do not compare yourself because you see only what they choose to show you. They might be at a position worse than you, but still they look so good and you end up comparing yourself without actually knowing the story. There's no point of comparing yourself. What you can do instead is take motivation from them. Take inspiration instead of comparing. Next step is reach out fashion people. In your school, college or work, there will be at least one fashionista. Go out, reach out to them or you can just spot a fashionista on the streets or somewhere like you will go ahead spot them or you can also spot them online. Reach out to them, talk to them, be friends or even if you don't be friends, talk to them about fashion, get to know their story, how they got into fashion or what they like about fashion or ask for tips or anything like that, okay? Just talk to them. It will always help you to get to know the people that are doing what you want to do. They have a fashion sense that you aspire to have. Go out, reach out to them. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Talking about the last tip now, the most important tip, wearing confidence. Confidence is the best thing that you can wear. It's the best outfit that you can wear. If you wear a fabulous outfit but you are not confident enough to wear it, the outfit isn't gonna shine that much. But instead, if you just wear a casual outfit, with confidence, that outfit will shine a lot more. When you're confident in yourself, your outfit, you just look better. You just look better because confidence is a good feeling. It's a positive feeling. And when you feel better, you look better. Confidence is a type of lifestyle. It does not come in one day or overnight. It is a process. Fake it until you make it. If you have to fake confidence at first, do it. What I want to basically say through this video is fashion is a lifestyle. It's a way to express yourself. Fashion is a way to express yourself. You don't have to wear trends or a certain type of aesthetic to be the fashionista. You just have to wear something that brings out you. I just hope this video helped you guys and that you will utilize these tips and have a good day or night i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next week in my new video bye